Okay, I would like to show you now how to copy Japanese lyrics if they are protected. Because there are some sites in Japan that protect the lyrics. So, of course, the most easiest thing is to go to sites uh, where the lyrics are not protected, so where you co can copy them freely. And for example, this is jlyrics.net. And we have another website here that's called mojim.com. And uh, as you see, you can mark all the stuff and copy it to your uh, whatever WordPad or whatever. Okay, so but if you have, a, I was searching a little bit. If you have something like this, uh, I tried to mark it like I'm pressing my mouse button here, but nothing happens. Then, uh, yeah, mm. there. Uh, yeah, then then you should uh, just check it like I show you now. Um, but uh, first of all, I want to show you something like this um, because there are sites that you cannot take the lyrics from. So, for example, this site. So I cannot mark it, and this is probably as uh, usual. People will see the site. I have uh, something, uh, some plugin installed here that uh, enables me to see that this is a flash player. And for usual people, you see that's a, that it's a flash player if you make a right click, like I do right click now. And uh, then you see here, I mean this is German, but you see this is about the Flash Player. So you see this is this white space here is from the Flash Player plugin, and this uh, just tells you that you cannot take the lyrics. So just leave these sites. Okay. So and sometimes we have something like this where you can, as I just showed now, uh, I try to click it. I, I make a left. Uh, mouse click I hope you hear it a little bit and nothing happens so I cannot mark it so I cannot copy it to WordPad or whatever so to make this happen um, you have to make a right mouse click or oh, I'm gonna make this a little bit up so uh, and then you have the item here that's called view source page and you can just click that and uh, for not so experienced uh, users this might be a lot of I don't know what it is text so uh, what we're going to do now is we try to search for this stuff because it should be written somewhere in this file uh, I was let's do this so you make my see it better I'm switching between the windows so between this window and this window so for example we have this title here you go to no I hell I don't know okay so uh, so we just search for you go and now we find something here. It's written here. Here's Yugure. And maybe this is the full, maybe here this is the full lyric. So we check it out. And so we see the lyrics start to end here. So this is not what we want. And uh, when we look a little bit in the front, uh, I mean, you could, even for unexperienced users, you can, might see something like description. So this is probably some kind of description for a page, so it's not what we were to search for. So let's just go on, and uh, we find the next one. And here we got something that looks much better. And this looks like a uh, lyrics. So this is basically everything. This is also written here. So the only thing is that with JavaScript, there's a protection that you cannot mark it. So what we can do is we can copy it from here. So uh, let's just do that. So I do copy and then I open some you don't have to care about what I type in here this is just uh, the usual editor from Windows it's very easy and I just paste it in here so it's basically everything in here uh, I don't know how other people do it I do it like this um, you have the problems you still have the HTML tags in here and you don't want them so what you can do is uh, you can just delete them on your own so you can just like say something like okay this is German here uh, you could say something like uh, how it's called replace and then you can search for this stuff that you don't want like this brackets br and just replace it with nothing so it gets away but sometimes you have the problems that you know, it's okay sometimes you have the problems that it's not that nice like in here so sometimes it looks like this your whole lyrics so let's change this file a little bit so that uh, there's no how you call that K 
carry it return after the BR tag so BR is uh, for the unexperienced users is HTML for uh, make a line break so what you can do is now you can say save as this is German don't care let's make it a little bigger okay so ah, I want you to show the file name okay let's keep it like this okay so we can just say uh, we save it as Unicode this is important so otherwise your uh, Japanese uh, kanjis will leave after you saved so you can for example say something like um, um, lyrics.html this HTML is very important and the next thing that's important is uh, I don't know how you call it in English but just look at this star dot star it's something like all files extensions or something and then you hit save and um, let's check where it's did this okay so and if you open the folder now where you saved it you can see that uh, there's this file lyrics.html so HTML is like a website so you can open this and your browser will open and you just see something similar like the one you saw on the web page before just with the difference that you can now mark everything and you can also copy everything so and if you have this then you can for example just mark everything and copy uh, and then open a new whatever notepad wordpad wherever you want your lyrics in copy it in and there are no HTML tags anymore nothing so and then you have a clean file um, and I actually wanted to show you this in the video uh, there's uh, actually some other stuff to protect your lyrics I had this recently um, you could not even make a right click to uh, look at the source page and so but um, you should just try to get this right click stuff and if not just try to get the other sites they're probably not so much out of out there anymore okay thanks for watching see you